Hi everyone and welcome to day five of embryology. Let's take a quick look at these eggs. We still have 30 eggs set and currently the temperature is on 99.5 and our humidity is back down. It's at 58%. So we're gonna put our plugs back in to try to maintain the humidity exactly where it's supposed to be. Let's talk about some of our vocabulary words today. They're a little bit difficult to pronounce, but we're gonna work through them. And I tried to put some phonetic type spelling out to the side so that way it's easier to read them. So this is the albumin. The albumin is the white part that surrounds the outside of an egg when you crack it. Um, it's connected pretty closely to the yolk. And then there's a thinner albumin that goes, and it's kind of a watery puddle that goes on the sides of the yolk, depending on how long the egg has been um, waiting after the hen has laid it. So the older an egg is, the more thin albumin it's going to have. And then we have the chalaza. The chalaza is the proteins that connect the inside of the egg here. They're a little bit hard to see, but they're definitely there on all of the eggs and it holds it all kind of together. And then we have the vitaline membrane. And the vitaline membrane is a dark circle that goes around the outside of the yolk. So I tried to do like a little bit of a egg drawing for you here. So this area here is that air sac that we talked about. See how it's empty? Um, if this was an egg in the incubator, it would be upside down. Then we have the chalaza, and this chalaza is those proteins binded. We have the thin albumin out here, and then the thick albumin, which is closer. And then the vitaline membrane represents the, is represented by this purple circle, and then the yolk is on the inside. So if you were to do the challenge today, I would take a paper plate, break out an egg, and then you'd be able to identify some of these different words. So let's go through the parts again. Albumin, yolk, chalaza, and then the vitaline membrane. So see if you can break out an egg today and participate in the challenge. Let us know how that goes for you. And then let's talk about a fun fact with our eggs today. These embryos are beginning to have beaks starting to appear. So if you look at an up close version of this embryo that's developing, you can see that there's some blood vessels. There's a little dark spot here, and that's where the embryo is really starting to take place and develop. And as we flip the pages and get further in this project, um, and closer to canaline, there's going to be more and more to look at. See you again for day six.